Believers, you have to know that the way to eternal happiness, that the way to happiness in this world, that the way to enlightenment of our hearts is through only one thing, is to instill the love of Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, in the hearts of Muslims. Nothing else has that effect. You can, all these people, they're doing all these things. Some of them are Hafiz of Quran. Some of them recited better than most of us here or all of us here. Some of us memorize, some of them memorize thousands of hadith. They're still going out and doing what they're doing. The only safety, the only safety for our children is to raise them on the love of Prophet Sallallahu because if that love occupies that heart, nothing else can occupy it. Not your nafs, not your hawa. When that love takes hold of that heart and you are engaged in learning about him, making salawat on him, what happens when you make salawat on him? People tell you, they stop you from making salawat. From Milad. Why? What happens when, when you make salawat on Prophet ﷺ? Prophet was standing and Jibreel ﷺ came to him and he said, Inna Allaha yuqri'uka salam, Prophet ﷺ. Allah sending you his salams and he's telling you, anytime one of your ummah makes one salawat on you, I am making ten on him. Prophet was so happy that he made sajda to shukr. He bowed down and made sajda thanking his Lord. Why he made sajda? Why was he thanking Allah for himself? What is he benefiting from your salawat? When Allah in his ula is making salawat on him. What is benefiting from our salawat when all the angels, none excluded, continuously make salawat on him? What is he benefiting from your salawat? He made sajda because he was happy you're going to make salawat on him? No. He made sajda because he knows what honor, what favor, what treasure Allah is bestowing on his ummah. He's bestowing on you. Because when Allah makes salawat on you, what does that mean? When Rabbul Izza, your creator, Allah in His magnificence because you honored His beloved and said Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad because you did that. Look how much Allah loves His Prophet. Because you honored Him with one salawat, Allah makes ten on you. Ten. From Allah on you. But what, what honor is this? That's why Sayyidina Muhammad made that sajda. Thanking his Lord. Because he knows that salawat you make on him is your ways to heaven. Is your ways to forgiveness. Because you think Allah will make salawat on you and send you to hellfire. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ هو الذي يصلي عليكم وملائكته ليخرجكم من الظلمات إلى النور وكان بالمؤمنين رحيما الله سبحانه وتعالى when he makes salawat on you he takes you out of the darkness into the light you want to be enlightened make salawat You want to be happy? Make salawat. You want to be mu'min? Make salawat. Don't hesitate. Don't let anyone convince you not to. Make it loud, make it 
secretly, make it silently, make it in any way. Those who say you can't make gatherings and sit and say salawat, are the angels making it loudly in heaven, the salawat, or, or silently? Did they know? Are they sitting together or by themselves doing salawat? Can they tell us? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordering you. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. But he's, he's, he's addressing who? Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. And iman is what? Love. He's asking the lovers of Prophet to make salawat on him. If you deem yourself a mu'min, make salawat on him. If you don't deem yourself a mu'min, forget it. No need. This is the time we live in of fitan. Find, you want, you want to attain the love of Prophet Sallallahu you want the shortest way from my experience? Find people who love him. And be with them. Sit with them. Eat with them. Learn with them. Make mawlid with them. That's the shortest cut to loving him. Because such people have nothing but love for him. And by virtue of companionship, you will become a lover. How did the Sahaba became stars? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ashabi can nujum My companions are like the stars. But they weren't like the stars. They were tough, rough people before Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But he said they became like the stars. Why? Because they're accompanying the sun. Because these stars are with Sayyidina Muhammad's companions. By sitting with him. I don't know how much time I have. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. What is the proof that we need people? Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Holy Quran says, Ittaqu Allah wa kunu ma'as sadiqeen. Fear Allah and be with the true ones, the truthful ones, sadiqeen. Very high station to be from the, those sadiqeen. That's why Allah says, be with them. He didn't say, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, attaqu Allah wa kunu sadiqeen. Be yourself, you be sadiq. He said, be with them. Why? Because of what we just mentioned. Because by being with them, their states become your states. Their condition becomes your condition. There's a hadith that proves this point and we'll end with this insha'Allah. Sayyidina Hanzalah was walking and he met Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radhwanullahi alayhima ajma'in. And he was sad, Sayyidina Hanzalah. And he said, oh beloved, uh, Sayyidina Abu Bakr said, what is wrong with you, O oh, Hamdala? He said, Nafaqa Hamdala. Hamdala is a munafiq, hypocrite, companion. And Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq said, How can you say such a thing? Why do you say such a thing? He said, Because when we are with the Prophet, وسلم, we are in such a spiritual state of unveiling. That when he's talking about heaven, we see heaven. When he's talking about hell, we see hell. They used to sit in his presence in such a hal state that they said they were, they were completely still. That even a bird will mistake in them for, the bulk, for, the, for a tree uh, branch. So, but then when he said, when we leave the, st when we leave the presence of Prophet Sallallahu what happens? We go to our families, we go to our children, then that state is gone. 
that state is gone. That's why I'm thinking I must be munafiq. One state, when I'm with, with Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, I am in the holy presence. My heart is, is witnessing realities that he's explaining. When I'm by myself, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> Maybe I'm a munafiq. And Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq said to him, radiallahu anhu, also muwasat, and this is from the manners of Muslims. When somebody comes to you and, and tells you, I am this and that, you don't say, yeah, you're a bad person. Go make repentance. You're this. No. Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq said, and Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, Prophet ﷺ said about him, if you want to look at somebody who died before he died, look at the face of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq. But he said to him, I'm also experiencing something like that. Let us go to Prophet and, and explain our situation. They went and they said to him, Sayyidina Muhammad ﷺ, this is our condition. He said, if you are able to keep that state, you're in with, when you're with me outside, Angels will come and shake your hands in the, the roads. You will see the angels. They will visit you at home. Tab, reflect upon this. For people who say you don't need Prophet. You don't need his, to be in his presence. You need to be in his presence. Even when people, when he was in his physical body in this world, the Sahaba needed to be in his presence. And what Allah says, Subhanahu wa Taala, Oh beloved, if they had wronged themselves and they want forgiveness. And they come to you in front of you saying Astaghfirullah. And then you in turn turn to your Lord and say, Forgive them, my Lord. Then they would find at that moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiving and merciful. This is the importance. It is real now. You want forgiveness? Prophet Hadir Nadir. If Shaitan can be here and can be in the other masjid, and can be on the street, and can be everywhere. Is he more honored, astaghfirullah, than Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu That Allah can give him to be everywhere? When we say, Assalamu alayka ya Sayyidi ya Rasulullah, we know yaqeenan that it is reaching him. And that he is replying the salam. With certainty, and there is no shirk in that. Because he is abdullah, and Allah can give to his abd whatever he likes. And no one can object. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us understand. Understand what is importance. What is important in our religion. It is not a sport. It's not, it's not a gym here you come and you... No. Allah is not caring for... إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَنْظُرُ إِلَى سُوَرِكُمْ وَلَكِنْ يَنْظُرُ إِلَى قُلُوبِ قُلُوبِ قُلُوبِكُمْ Allah doesn't look at your how tall you are, how muscular, or how... No, no. He looks at your heart. And if you stand in His presence and say, Allahu Akbar, and that heart is full of dunya. That heart is full of hawa, your vain desires. That heart is... Shaitan coming and going as he likes and pleases. And you're standing and say, Allah Akbar, you think Allah is in need of your prayer? When you stand, he wants khashya, he wants love. He wants you to stand in front of him, acknowledging him as, as, his, as your Lord, thanking him for everything you have, really loving him. That's what Allah wants from us. Allah, Allah, Allah.